Hello everybody, MaxMulti1516 here, back once again. And today I am showing you guys eight brand new customs, all from my friend Roxaclock or Laura. And she's done a fantastic job here once again. Just want to start off by and preface that. But I mean, I have a lot to get through, so I don't want to make this intro super long. But basically, um, I love making customs and I love having customs. And some customs I am just either too lazy to make or they're above my skill level. So when either of those are the case, I just go to Laura and I just commission her to make me some customs. So this is this year's batch and this is everything I've gotten from her. So today we're gonna take a deep dive into everything and just take a look at it all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off here with probably the most simplistic ones, and these are Helena and Victoria. For those who don't know, these two are Railway Series only characters appearing in the 41st book, Thomas and Victoria. So uh, basically these two were Furnace Railway coaches that um, Victoria ended up on Sodor, and now she works on Thomas's branch line. Helena was the other coach on the branch line, and both of them were pulled by Albert. So I made this Albert custom like five, six years ago at this point, so I'm going to redo him at some point, but I do have one. And uh, anyway, now I have his coaches. So for those who remember many years ago now, I think actually around the same time I made this, this Albert here, the first one, uh, I made my own Victoria and it was really bad. It was, it was terrible. And um, I, I, yeah, I, I just kind of went at it without anything and just that, that was serviceable for a few years. And eventually I wanted to just start from scratch. So uh, instead of doing it myself, I just told Laura to. So this is Victoria here, much better face. Uh, she actually has the lining above her face now. And of course, uh, the, the two-tone look here with the blue and the white on the side there. Looks very nice, and I gave them silver buffers. But yeah, I really like these coaches, and here's Helena as well. And she looks great, love the face here too. And then just the uh, same design on either side. But yeah, these coaches are really nice. And of course, they were just made out of Tommy, Annie, and Clarabelle's. But yeah, uh, I gotta say, these two are super impressive, and those are probably the most simplistic ones we're going to take a look at today. Now, next up, these are some pretty obscure ones, and I guarantee a lot of you are going to not know who these guys are, and I'm going to say them, and you're probably going to go like, who are they? So, without further ado, here are Anan -An and Yin Long, the Chinese coaches. So, these guys appeared in seasons 22, 23, and 24, just uh, as the main coaches on the Chinese railway. And they are pulled by Hong Mei, who actually did get a play rail model. And unfortunately, she was not sold with these coaches. I kind of wish she was, because I think they're kind of cool. I just like how they look, to be honest. And so I decided, hey, Laura, why don't you go make them for me? So apparently these things suck to make, uh, just because of the yellow lining was really hard to do on the uh, darker green there. They also have yellow wheels. And then uh, also these were custom-made faces just for this. She printed them out. And I think they look fantastic. I mean, these are so, so well done. I mean, they honestly look official and the faces are by far my favorite part about them. But yeah, of course, these two will just couple up like so. Once again, made out of the exact same thing, just Tommy, Annie, and Clarabelle's. And yeah, they, they're they pretty much just the Chinese equivalent of Annie and Clarabelle and Hong Mei is like the Chinese equivalent of Thomas. That's kind of like their whole thing. So yeah, uh, not super original characters here or anything. And they're definitely not noteworthy because again, I mean, you know, who are they? But um, yeah, honestly, they're just cool to have. And I wanted them mainly because uh, Capsule Playrail actually recently gave them their first piece of official merchandise, uh, only six years after they appeared in the, sh in the show for the first time. But uh, the Capsule ones are brand new and I like them enough to, I was just like, hey, you know what? I want them in my main range as well. So let's make some Tomy ones. But yeah, uh, I think these guys look really nice with Hong Mei as well. I just really like the color scheme and everything. And yeah, once again, they just look great. Nice additions. Now with the coaches out of the way, let's talk about the much more in-depth sort of uh, complex engine customs. So these were definitely um, some of my highest wanted items that I just didn't really, I, I feel like I don't have the skill to make, or at least I could attempt to make them, but they wouldn't be nearly as good as what we have here. So once again, I'm gonna just start out from the smallest to the biggest, and we'll start off here with 16. So for those who don't know, 16 is an austerity tank engine from the railway series, being uh, part of one of Wilbert's stories. And uh, yeah, so 16 here, like I, like I said, austerity tank, 
Uh, pretty simple I, in, in terms of like build, I guess, because the main piece here, the chassis and the cab are from just a regular Tomy Trackmaster Percy. And then the boiler is just stolen from a bin. So uh, honestly, you just kind of slap those two together and that's kind of it. But yeah, 16 here. Uh, we also have some push along wheels just for the middle wheels there. And yeah, so of course works pretty nicely. And just again, we got the lining here on the cab, the number 16. The face is just a repainted uh, Ben face, and I think it looks awesome. Love the eyebrows and uh, how the eyes have been painted in. We also have the uh, hazard stripes on the buffer beam, a white foot plate to match, and yeah, everything here just looks really, really nice. So this is actually very heavily based off of the original Wilbert that Laura made for me nearly two years. Actually, no, I think it's been over two years ago at this point, or she made it for herself first and then made another Wilbert and sold this one to me. So now these two match and they have the exact same build basically. The only thing is that Wilbert's missing that little block down there that is now here on 16. But yeah, I mean, other than that, they're pretty much identical. Wilbert uses some, uh, I, be I believe these are just metal rods for handrails. And uh, instead, Laura just went with the regular uh, ones on Ben there. But yeah, uh, 16 here, I'm really, really happy with once again. And just another character that I really like the just design and general vibe of. So I'm happy to have him finally in my main range there. So again, looks really, really nice. Let's move on now to Axel, one of the many characters introduced in the Great Race. This engine is from Belgium and probably had less than five lines in the entire movie and never showed up again. But yeah, Axel here is, like I said, one of the many, I believe there were 12 characters introduced in the Great Race. And unfortunately, due to Mattel's incompetence, we only got like three or four of them in Trackmaster. So it is pretty much up to Laura to make the rest of them for me because they are way too complex for me to even begin to try and make. So I'm actually gonna detach the tender here and first talk about the engine. So Axel here was actually made out of a Trackmaster Spencer. And honestly, at first glance, you might not even be able to tell just because how much has been done aesthetically to this model. So. I believe this is just a couple layers of cardstock here on the side, and it goes all the way from the cab up here to the streamlined bit. I don't know if these would be considered smoke deflectors or not since they're so large and they take up so much room. They even go here over the front wheel. And uh, yeah, of course, this is also a just a freehand sculpted face, which looks really good. This is very accurate as well. And again, just Axel looks, looks really cool, honestly. I love the design here. And it is a genuine shame that he really only got like two pieces of merchandise. And Trackmaster, Tomy, Playrail, that wasn't one of them. So finally, uh, here I do have Axel represented in the range. And yeah, looks great. So we've got some white windows here. They look really nice against the black cab. And then all of the streamlining bits here are red. And then we also have like the uh, yellow and black lining as well. And of course, uh, the wheels down here well has have been changed because uh, eventually, see this started out as Spencer and it had to change because Axel's wheel configuration is not the same. So these are actually just cut down side rods. They aren't like Oliver ones or Edward ones. They're just the regular ones that have been cut and then glued back together. And now they attach to the screw here on the middle wheel. And now it looks like just the first two wheels there are the driving ones. And this is our little front trailing wheel, I guess. And um, one strategy I really like is that the out outer rim here has been painted black just to have the illusion of making that front wheel look a bit smaller, which I really like. I think that's a nice piece of attention to detail. And uh, yeah, overall axle is just super cool. The buffer beam here has also been extended out with clay as well. And yeah, I believe that's all the major changes to the engine himself. And again, I just love how the side rods look. That's so cool. And then uh, we also have a tender here, and this was just made out of a Trackmaster 2 Gordon tender with a bit of re-sculpting. Uh, I believe all of this is just clay and uh, just this uh, entire top piece here. The coal, I believe, is also made out of clay, which looks really nice. And of course, uh, just the tender itself matches Axel's lining uh, pretty well, honestly. Super, super accurate there. And yeah, I mean, it just goes all the way around. Uh, not too much done to the bottom, I believe, and I think it was just mainly re-sculpting the top just to make it look more like Axel's tender. And yeah, even the wheels here have been repainted and everything. Looks really, really nice. I love Axel. Uh, I love how he looks. He's, he's really, really cool. So next up, let's talk about Vinny. And Vinny is an incredible piece of work here. I am shocked this turned out how well it did because I mean, Vinny's such a like, such a massive behemoth of a character. And here he is 
in Tommy Trackmaster form. So I've seen a lot of different ways people have tackled Vinny over the years, and I decided to choose Spencer with a fuel tanker for a tender. So it worked out, honestly, I think. So starting out here, I mean, you can just see the, uh, the length difference. Of course, if I bring Spencer up to the side there, line them up, there is a length difference there. And this thing is a brick with the amount of milliput here, especially in the front. He's very front heavy. But yeah, all of this, the smoke box extension, all of these streamlining bits here, all of this is just made out of hardened clay. And honestly, yeah, it just makes Vinny even more imposing because he's massive. And uh, yeah, there's a ton of space here in between where the wheels end and where he actually ends. But yeah, just such a massive model. And I'm really happy with how this turned out because Vinny is large, he's very imposing. And I feel like this is captured really well in this model. So the face here is actually casted from the wooden railway one. Basically, uh, I just sent over the wooden railway Vinny and she made a mold of that and then just casted it, painted it, put it on there. Looks fantastic. I mean, it's Vinny's face, so it works perfectly. You also have a ton of painted detail here, such as the nameplate, the number, yellow lining, as well as cab windows, and even the front here, this little pattern and a lamp. So yeah, all of this looks great. Even the whistle here has been added and that's an incredible attention to detail. I didn't even expect that to be on there, but it is. And I love it. So yeah, Vinny here. Also his wheels have of course been repainted. And we also have cylinder detail down here on either side. Just looks awesome. And I love everything that she was able to accomplish with this. And also we have tender. And the tender here, uh, it's just pretty simple, honestly. We have the uh, fuel tanker bit here around with just this giant block here of what I believe is clay. And uh, you just have lining on it. And then the top here to be coal. Uh, it is very tall. It pretty much barely meets like the riser height. So I feel like we talked about this. If coal would have been added here, it probably would have been touching the bottom of risers and it couldn't fit under bridges. So unfortunately that is just a side effect of how uh, the tender was made because the tankers in this range are extremely tall. And uh, to make the coal bit here even taller, that would have made like it pretty much impossible to run under bridges and stuff. So I do want my customs to be practical as much as they look good. So we tried to strike a balance there and I think it turned out pretty well. So unfortunately to make the tender a bit more proportional, it is a little bit taller than Vinny's cab, but it's also not super noticeable. Like it might come across better uh, in person than on camera. But yeah, it is just like maybe a millimeter or two taller. Doesn't bother me a whole lot, but I thought I'd mention it just because it is kind of interesting the way this whole, whole this whole thing turned out. But yeah, Vinny here, it, I'm just so happy with. He looks amazing. And of course uh, he does work as well. I'll show him on the track there. But yeah, very nice, incredible model. Love, love everything about that. And we are now going to finish off with probably my favorite custom here of this entire batch. And it is Dustin. So Dustin is an incredible model, first of all. So again, Dustin was just a character that barely appeared in the show. He wasn't even in the show, actually. He was just specifically made for toys. And by toys, I mean one wooden railway toy. And uh, I really love his design here. And I've wanted him in Tommy Trackmaster for a very long time. So finally, uh, here he is. And yeah, this is just such a cool thing to witness. And uh, for those who don't know, there is actually a play rail model of the snowblower here that Dustin is based off of. And um, unfortunately it is pretty rare and I spent a lot of money on it just to get one, but um, I used it for a custom and I, I don't regret it. So yeah, this is awesome. And just like Vinny, the face here is casted from the wooden railway one, very cool. And yeah, the, the probably my favorite thing about the play rail model, of course, is that the snowblower actually works. And yeah, I mean, that is just the coolest thing. So of course, when he's going along the track and this uh, snowblower here is just attached by the driving wheel. So yeah, Dustin here is of course, has also been repainted. The original model was black. Now he is like a darker maroon red. He's got his rotary uh, logo, I guess there. And also the uh, markings as well, just his number and his company, I believe. And he's also got his nameplate there on the tender. And then, of course, uh, on the back there, blank, but still just been repainted. And, of course, a uh, nameplate here on the tender as well. The other side is identical. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for Dustin. He was pretty much just a repaint, except for the cab area, which uh, actually has been extended a little bit. You can see a seam there. But uh, that is just because um, I had to, or she had to, bring the cab up and uh, to, you know, put the face on. So now um, it is the 
proper height, I guess. So yeah, faces right there. Looks great. And I just love, love how this thing turned out. And I'll give them a little demonstration as well. That camera was not focused at all. Let's do that again. Yeah. So yeah, Dustin is amazing. Uh, it's honestly, one of my favorite items in my entire collection now. And it is really just because of uh, that working snowplow right there. That's the coolest thing to me. So yeah, um, I'm not bringing everything else back into frame for the outro here. But thank you all very much for watching. This video is on a bit of a time crunch uh, just because I'm really busy right now. But um, I definitely wanted to get this out and just talk about these and say once again how grateful I am to Laura for making all this stuff for me. And it has just been an incredible thing to witness in real time. So yeah, without further ado, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you all for watching and have a great rest of your day. Max Monty 1516, signing out.